Hello guys, continuing with our sequence of videos on how to solve linear equations, welcome to part 3. In our previous video, we saw how to use the distributive property to solve equations. In this situation, we're now going to consider equations that include several parentheses. Once again, we need to use the distributive property. Let's check out our first example. 3 times c plus 5 minus 7c plus 2 is equal to 3 times 7 minus c plus 4 plus c. Here you see that the parentheses can be repeated in several moments of the equation. We want to begin performing the distributive property as we have two parentheses. This application of the distributive property in both situations can happen at the same time. So 3 times c, 3c, 3 times 5, 15, negative 7c and the positive 2 stays exactly the same. On the right side, when using the distributive property, 3 times 7 would give you 21, 3 times negative c gives you negative 3c, and we copy the rest of the equation. Just as we have been doing, we want to add similar terms first. So 3c is similar to negative 7c, just as 15 is similar to just as there are numbers. The right side happens the same thing, numbers with numbers, 21 and 4, and variables, negative 3c, with variables, just a c. When we perform these operations, 3c minus 7c gives us negative 4c. 15 plus 2 gives you positive 17. On the right hand side, 21 plus 4 is equivalent to 25, and negative 3c plus c gives you negative 2c. Now, remember we want to group all the variables on the left side and all the numbers on the right side. So, I add 2c on both sides, looking to cancel out this negative 2c, and I subtract 17 on both sides, looking to cancel out this positive 17. When I perform the operations, negative 4c plus 2c give us negative 2c. Positive 17 minus 17 cancels out. On the right hand side, 25 minus 17 gives me 8, while negative 2c plus 2c cancels out. Final step, remember you want to leave only c alone, so you divide by negative 2 on both sides. When this happens, on the left side you obtain c, on the right side you obtain negative 4, which would be our result. Now, another possible case when you're working with several parentheses is if they're nested. If you have several brackets and parentheses, one inside one another. What you have to do there is perform distributed properties sequence from the inside to the outside. Let's begin. The left side stays exactly the same, 2b minus 3. 5 also stays the same because it is no part of none of the parentheses. In the first step, you want to leave the bracket exactly the same because the distributed property you're going to be performing first is the one of the parentheses in the inside. This negative times b gives you negative b, and this negative times positive 1 gives you negative 1. Now, as a second step, you want to perform the distributed property again but over the bracket, just because you have already solved the first one. Now, we copy the left side again, and here we have 5 minus 2b, the first multiplication. The second one gives you positive b, and the third one gives you positive 1. Now, as usual, we want to operate similar terms before moving on. So 2b minus 3 would give you 5 plus 1, which would be 6. Negative 2b plus b would give you negative b. Now, remember we want to move variables to the left side and numbers to the right side, adding 3 on both sides. When you perform these operations, you get 3b on the left side and 9 on the right side. Finally, we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. 
allowing us to receive B on the left and 3 on the right, meaning that B is equal to 3. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. And how to solve linear equations part 4, coming up next.